So I'm continuing my humility study. Um, my definition of humility that I am trying to develop in myself is accepting and submitting without resistance to the will of God, the will and desire of God, not regarding others as inferior, enduring injury with patience and without resentment and being easily teachable. As part of this, I've set a goal to um, publicly to acknowledge and think about and write down three things that I am grateful for, most grateful for on every giving day to, um, to acknowledge God's hand in my life. And um, the first thing on my list for today is the, the first coming of Jesus Christ in Bethlehem and the promised second coming of Jesus Christ. I'm really grateful for that, especially during the Christmas season. The second coming, the promise of the second coming gives me hope for a world with justice and a world of peace and a world of people trying to do what's right. I'm currently reading the the journals of John Woolman, who was a Quaker, um, a member of the Society of Friends, who, who worked really hard to align in his life with the will of God. And in the process, um, in the process, he preached against slavery. This was pre-American Revolution. It was more than 100 years before before the Civil War, but he essentially, um, he essentially undermined, he was instrumental in, in completely undermining the institution of slavery amongst the Society of Friends. And he did it through love and through, through justice and through patience. And I feel like that that, that, that only comes through a hope in a just world, a uh, hope in Jesus Christ, that kind of dedication and commitment, um, and through revelation. So John Woolman talks a lot about how God communicated with him and helped him to desire to be better. And that's the second thing I'm grateful for is revelation, um, that God communicates with people and, um, and helps them to be better and helps them to know what to do and he does that through feelings of the spirit he does it through the scriptures he does it through prayer he does it through the inspired words of people around us and um and through thoughts that he puts into our minds and into our hearts um yeah and the third thing that i'm grateful for is personal so i'm not going to share it in this video but the scripture on humility today. This is this is the Lord's talking to Solomon. It's in Second Chronicles chapter seven, verse fourteen. The Lord's talking to Solomon about the temple um, that he's having Solomon build. And anyways, the Lord says, If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray, and seek my face, and turn from their wicked ways. Then will I hear from heaven and for, will forgive their sin and will heal their land. And that's a powerful promise. I think that our land is in need of healing. I feel like we are in need of forgiveness. And, and we're in need of God hearing us, um, hearing our petitions and hearing our cries. And in order to get to turn to God, to get that relationship with God, it requires humility. Um, it requires submitting ourselves, accepting and submitting ourselves to the will and desires of God. Being patient um, in the face of injury and being easily teachable and not viewing others as inferior to yourself.